Hello crafty friends, Alicia from Love Letter Generation, hope you're all doing well. I wanted to jump on and do a, a little tutorial with you guys today, or a craft with me, however you want to put it. <laughs> um, so I have a gorgeous mushroom cutting die um, that I received from Life's Craft Art. They are linked with Coco Rosa, which you guys would have heard before. So um, I'll have a 25% off coupon code in my um, description box for you guys when you go to the Life's Craft Art website, which I'll also leave in the description box for you guys. And this is the Seaside Mushroom die that I'm going to be putting together with you guys today. It's going to turn out so adorable. <laughs> so the um, items that I'm going to be using are, I'm going to be using some pale pink cardstock, which comes from the um, Rosie Studio Primavera Coloured Cardstock Pack. I had some of that left, so I wanted to use that. Also, this um, bright pink color as well. And I also have this cardstock here, which is by Kaiser Craft, and it is in oatmeal. And I thought I'd use this color for the base of the mushroom. And the pinks for the doors, um, the mushroom roof, the windows, and yeah, we'll see see how well it goes. I will be doing obviously a bit of dimension as well because I like my projects to have dimension. So also to the side of me, I've just got my pink foam ready that I always love to use just in case I want to... Um, give these embellishments a bit more sturdiness but I definitely will be using some kind of foam today I have my adhesive foam squares and I want to give um, I want to give the mushroom house yes yeah, some dimension because I like that look on my um, project and embellishments and then also a really good um, glue that you prefer I like to use these like B7000, I think it's E6000, all those types of glues. I find they glue really well and clear and they're easy to clean off if you make a mess. So what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to do all the die cutting and then we're going to come back and you're going to watch me piece this all together and we'll see how cute it turns out. Okay, so I have cut all my pieces out. I just need to glue them together here with you. Not too sure um, how I want to go about this. I think I'm not going to do it exactly the same as the picture of the die on the website. Um, I do like to switch things up a little bit. Um, I believe this little window is supposed to go on the door there, but I'm thinking I might even put it um, somewhere else. We'll just wait and see. I just think it might look a bit better maybe elsewhere, but yeah, we'll just play around, see how we go. I've got a little doorstep here, which I cut out using, um, this yellow cardstock here that I found in my stash, just so we could have a different color step. I didn't want it to be brown though, so that's why I went with a nice sort of yellow um, colour. And I also, using some um, Kaiser Craft cardstock in like a pale sort of green colour, I just cut out a little bit of greenery, which also comes with the die set. Um, you can choose to use that or not. Uh, some of the pieces I won't be using, like all the little rocks and things like that. Um, but yeah, it does come with all these fun pieces that you can use if you want to. So grab yourself a drink. I have grabbed myself a nice um, 
cup of tea because I love to craft when I'm drinking tea. Just one of my favourite things to go together. <laughs> So one of the first things I might do is I might just start putting together some of the little pieces here that go on the sides. You can die cut those out twice if you want them to be extra sturdy. But what I'm going to do, I think it'll be easier just to glue um, each piece and then layer it all up at the end. So it'll all come together. So I'm just using this glue here, which I um, received from Timu. I absolutely love this glue. It dries quite quick, but not too quick that, you know, you don't have enough time to move things around. So I'm going to place this little window here kind of to the side of the mushroom. So it looks like the window is looking out. Hope you guys can, can see because, you know, I am left-handed so I can um, cast a lot of shadows. <laughs> so I'll bring that up. Just hold that down for a little bit. have to drink that tea quite quick because when you pop things in a teacup um, it goes um, cold quite quickly okay so that should be well and truly stuck on there now and we'll do the top bit of the mushroom just do a little bit just along the edge here don't want too much we don't want it to get see i've already made a mistake as in i have glued the side bits there and i didn't need to do that um because look it sticks out anyway so just be careful i might just hold that middle bit there for now while it's drying and then hopefully this won't stick to other things <laughs> But I think this is going to look really cute. I might pop that that way for now so it dries without sticking to my table. Um, with the top piece of the mushroom there, I wanted the... Um, so I wanted a pink top piece of the mushroom. But... I want this white piece of the bottom part of the mushroom sticking out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my scissors and we are going to fussy cut along this edge here. So then when I stick that down, it's going to have two different um, layers, like two different colours. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's just something um, that, you know, I know that mushrooms come with different coloured layers, so I want to do it that way. So you can tell the difference between the top bit of the mushroom and the bottom piece. So it's got a nice sort of clear line there so you can um, see where to cut which is great makes it nice and easy like i said you don't have to do that but what i'm planning on doing is doing mine like that so then you can tell the two different layers of the mushroom there like that so i'm going to glue this piece down I'm going to stick that like that. That also makes it a little bit more um, 
sturdier, your embellishment. I didn't end up cutting out my pink foam, which I usually will do if I want a nice sturdy embellishment, but I thought just for the sake of this video, um, I'll just do this one just as an embellishment to how I guess a lot of other people would do it. Because they can get quite quite thick. So what I might do is I might have to stick the door on there first and then there's the outside of the door frame which you could die cut out in a different colour but I'm just going to keep it the same colour as the door. Otherwise you're just doing way too much die cutting that you know you don't really have to do. So I might just pop that right there. I'm going to leave a little bit of space from the base of the mushroom, mainly because you need to leave that little bit of room to stick your step on. And also the frame for around the door. So this one's going to be tricky, so I might have to, um, give me a sec, because that gets a bit, get rid of that glob there. And then just go carefully around the door. Don't need a whole lot of glue. Just enough to that that frame will stick around there. Otherwise, we're going to be making a huge mess. I think that is coming together so cute already. Like I said, what I love about this glue is if you do make a bit of a mess, it's just like you can just rub it and um, all the glue residue rubs off. And then I just rub like my fingers together to get the excess like stickiness off. So you're not sticking sticky all over your projects and ruining them. Sometimes it has a little bit of stringy bits, but that's also okay because that rubs off as well. So now we've got our little, our little doorstep. This fun little yellow piece here. So as you can see, it, it really is quite easy to put these projects together. I know that there are a lot of you out there that think that it can be quite overwhelming with all the little pieces, but I can assure you it's actually really fun. It can be really relaxing and it's quite easy to pop these things together. You just have to have some patience <laughs> but as you guys can see from this video it actually doesn't take that long and it was quite quick um, the process of me die cutting all these pieces out so just making sure that that step is straight that looks cute and then do we want to stick that bit on may as well. I'm going to be careful this time not to get the edges. We're just going to glue just near the center bit here. Don't need a whole lot. Just bring it up just so you guys can see. Just do that. 
hold it for a little bit. And I know mushrooms aren't pink. <laughs> a lot of you are probably complaining, oh my gosh, she's done a pink mushroom, but you, you know me. If you've been following me for a long time, everything basically has to be in pink for me. It's like my favourite colour, and in all honesty, I probably wouldn't enjoy my craft or my crafting if I didn't use pink in it. I think if I made a mushroom that was like a grey brownie colour, I really don't think that I would like the end result. So I like to um, craft with colours that I love, which I'm sure a lot of you all understand and completely get. So this one, we're going to stick this little one here to the side. So I'm just going to glue just a little bit down the side here. Again, because we don't want it to end up sticking to the table. So you don't need to glue the whole entire pieces on. You just need enough to stick it to the side there of your mushroom. Gonna be so cute. So look at how cute it's already coming together. I forgot to add this little um, grass greenery piece, but I'm not too sure with the decorating yet how I sort of want to go about it. Like whether I want to keep it to the edge. Like, so I could do something like, that actually looks quite cute, I'm going to do that. <laughs> like I said, in the picture, things are in different places, but I like to do things the way I like to do them. You don't always have to do them the exact way, um, you know of how you see things, like use your own creativity with your dyes. So I'll just hold that down there for a little bit. Don't want it lifting. That is getting a bit cool now, that tea. <laughs> see, I see you got to drink it quite quick or that's it, like, it'll go cold. It's it's pretty much less than lukewarm now. Um, so the next thing I want to attach is maybe this window here. I want to pop that up here. My hands are starting to get a little bit sticky now, but that's the idea, isn't it? Just pop that window, I think, right there. I want to give my mushroom um, a bit of dimension as well, so I'm actually contemplating whether or not to stick some of the creamy dots on top of the mushroom to give it a bit of dimension, or you could use enamel dots, um, diamond dots, you could use Nuvo drops. Um, now in the picture, and I said I know I don't usually follow follow the picture. I do what I want. Um, it does have this piece kind of like up here on the roof like this. 
but I don't know whether I want to do that or not. Um, there is another piece here that I can stick on and I want to make it a little bit shorter this mushroom so I might do that or I can use if I'm not going to use the top piece sorry I got glue stuck to my fingers I could actually even do this one like this do it something like nah I don't like that actually might do this one but I'm gonna glue it a little bit further down so the mushrooms sort of aren't the same size so they're sort of different different sizes so one's a bit shorter than the other without it looking too odd try and get some of that um, that yellow there in the background because then I won't have to stick any dots on that but oh my gosh this is turning out so adorable Let me do it something like, oh, yep, yeah, that's cute. Okay, so we're going to stick that there. Oh, big, big glob of glue there coming out. Just hold it down a bit. Made a little bit of mess with the glue. That's okay, because I think I'm going to stick... Um, maybe another grass piece there and I don't think I'm going to stick the chimney bit up the top I don't think I like that look I think I like this sort of size as far as the mushroom goes so I think we'll stick some grass there they said it did come with little um, rock cutting dies but I also I didn't want to stick rocks on my um, this I didn't want to stick rocks on my embellishment just personal choice but look at how cute that is turning out Oh my gosh, I need to stick this lid on just so the glue doesn't keep trying to spill out. Look at how cute this is turning out so far. Isn't that adorable? so so cute <laughs> so next I'm just trying to think what I don't want to what I want to do with this window because it is meant to go there but um, I would have to cut out another piece to go behind it Yeah, I'll do that. So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and I am going to go cut out this piece here. Actually, it cuts out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This piece here that I'm not using. I might be able to. Yes. 
see that'll work look at that it's about improvising with what you have that mushroom piece that I didn't want to end up using I can use to glue onto this and then to glue onto that so let's try that almost like it was the perfect size wasn't it and if there's a little bit sticking out I can just trim trim that edge There we go. The one is very sticky because it's so tiny. And sometimes this glue comes out very sparingly or it comes out in one big massive glob. And sorry, I know it's really hard to see right now. But oh my gosh, this is so cute. Just trying to clean up that excess glue there. Look at that, how adorable. Love that. So you guys can see how easy that cutting die was to put together. Now to decorate these pieces like I said I want it to look kind of um dimensional in a little way um I do have a couple of white pieces that I cut out just need to find them so I did cut out some of these tiny little pieces here using the oatmeal um, cardstock which I could stick onto the mushroom so you could like stick see stick it on like that so it's got its spots So I might see how I go. Might be a little bit tricky because there is a hole there. But I believe these pieces are bigger than the hole so hopefully fingers this goes my way <laughs> yep so that works don't know about Whether that looks good or not, these pieces here. I'm 
Hmm. No, I'm not too sure about those ones. So what I might do is I might actually go to the back. And instead, we are going to glue these pieces to the back. So then when you look through, it should give us that beigey sort of colour. And then we can add um, some Nuvo drops to the top if we want. So that works. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I think I'll I'll leave it at that for now and we've still got some glue drying around the edges there, but yeah, that gives you guys an idea of how this cute seaside mushroom um, embellishment comes together. absolutely love how it turned out so i'll leave um like i said the links down below don't forget um when you go to life's craft art website um you can pop in the 25 percent off code when you check out to get yourself a discount they have lots of cute cutting dies um like this gorgeous mushroom one and they're very inexpensive as well so there we go thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and my little diy of this cute mushroom embellishment thanks for watching and take care bye